Greetings, uh, Coburn here, and I do apologise for the quality of the microphone. Uh, my headset, which was a Gamecom 780, uh, has died, unfortunately. It died a few days before the New Year, and Happy New Year, by the way. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting a new headset, but I'm not too sure which one I should buy. And I'm using a shotgun microphone out of a $10 cheapy bargain bin, clearance, whatever you want to call it, uh, rubbish in camera. It's USB, but well, yeah, it's not the best thing. But what it, what I'm wanting to show you today is basically a little options menu that I whipped up in two hours because I was on a bit of a feeling like a bit of game dev streak. Um, maybe because of the new year and all that, and you know, I want to make a um, at least a game demo this year. Um, so basically, what this is is, as you can tell, it's it shows you how many decibels you kind of the mixer down there. Um, all this is getting pumped directly into the mixer. I'm not doing any black magic apart from exposing some parameters. And I may very well do a uh, blog post with the code of this in. So you guys can, if you want to, you know, you know GPL or something, you just take the take the code back, give it, or I might even just put 99 cents on the, um, on the thing. I don't know. It's fairly trivial to do. Um, but this is probably going to be used in some way or another in my demo, at least for uh, mainly the music side of things, because as much as it's good to have the everything all play at the same time, you know, it can, some people like to turn the music down so you don't have that blasting in the ears while, um, you know, explosions and stuff going on. Um, some games even have the music set to like half the volume and stuff, but... What I'm doing is the volume sliders here go from minus 80 to 0. I can go up to 20, but I usually that causes distortion. I'm not 100% sure of that, but some of it really, um, it seems to go be below 40 um, is the cutoff, meaning um, you can't really hear it, at least my hearing. And my hearing is pretty good because I can hear capacitor whines and I'm only, I'm not even 30 yet. So that being said, um, Pretty much I'll give it a bit of a demo and show you how it goes. But, uh, okay, so the voice is just going to play a random um, anime character. Well, actually part of the Unity Jam things are going there. So, as you can see, I can adjust the volume. And from there, 26 minus 26 decibels. She probably didn't say anything on that, but you can change it up. And, Konnichiwa. There you go. Um... But the sound effects uh, like that is more a louder thing, like a nice explosion. Let's crank it down a little. You can see down the bottom here the sound effects um, slider there. I don't know if my cursor is recording or not, but it's down the bottom of the screen. I apologise for that. Um, I've just clicked on it now, but um, as you can hear, it goes quieter. I can put up the maximum and. If you are got hearing problems or anything like that, do be warned, this is going to be pretty loud. So you may just want to cover your head in 3, 2, 1. Okay, it's now safe to put your headphones back on. Um, but other than that, yeah, background music works as intended. Um, what would be playing is a recondition of Mario 64's Die Die Docks on a Super Nintendo. Um... And we can make it explode by... Whoops, there goes the Super Nintendo. But that being said, uh, this implementation allows you to change it on the fly so you can have the music go up and down. Um, I know, I think it's called volume ducking on some games, where especially in TeamSpeak and Mumble and um, Discord when actions, when it's hooked into the game, the game or the game's volumes get turned down, or at least the, on the Windows mixer. But this being said, since this is all using Windows, uh, Win uh, not Windows, sorry, uh, Google, ah, words, Unity's mixer, uh, it'll be cr it'll be cross-platform, even Android, I think, and Linux, which I wanted to try um, as a build target. But that being said, this is just pretty much a proof of concept. It's clunky, yes. It probably needs a bit of a reboot, yes. Um, I'll probably give it a good coat of paint before I release in the demo and maybe even just save it for later. Uh, but this was just a two hour example of it. Um, as you can see, it's functional. 
um, sound effects work, music works, volume things, and all of that down there. So, and you can even control the master volume, which is the Unity Master. So I can shut it up, or I can just keep it up like that. But that's pretty much the end of the thing. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I do look forward to getting uh, to the thing. I will be. I do have a blog. Credit? Uh, not credit. Sorry. Um, the actual things are in on the on my channel's thing over there. It's fragments of my mind. That's another blog name. Um, so you can go there. You can see me on Twitter. I will be tweeting from time to time bits and pieces of game dev. So you can follow me if you like a bit of game dev stuff. I'm no by no means a professional, but I do this as my hobby. So and I enjoy it. So that's the best thing about game development is you got to enjoy it if you want to um, get the reap the benefits of it. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's the sound options menu. Um, I'll probably do more. I might even do a follow-up and do... I've also got some um, prototype for uh, resolutions and stuff. The only problem with those, I probably won't be able to actually film it or anything like that because of the, you know, um, uh, the change in the resolution. But that is, a, that is possible. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great new year and, you, and I look forward to doing more videos of game development in the 2017. So other than that, Cobra now. Have a good one.